All right, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. All right, first I'd like to give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakadash. All right, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father. All right, and Yahweh Shai being the true name of the Lord, and He calls Jesus Christ. So to get the bonus to my apostles and others, a great millstone who rule well and who taught me this truth. And Shalom to all the brothers out there, to the four corners of the earth, pushing this word in our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. Um, <clears throat> this uh, lesson is going to be a. Uh, um, based off, there was a um, a video that um, the elder Yasha Wamba did, you know, in Dallas, um, called, um, matter of fact, if I can pull it up, it was called... Yeah, it was um, called, I believe, like these black churches. Is a set, yep, here it is. Uh, the title of the video is uh, called The Black Church is a Cesspool of Iniquity. Okay. You know, it's, and that's on his, uh, his page, GMS uh, uh, Sharma, uh, I believe it's Sharmoth, yeah, kind. GMS Sharmoth, uh, Yasha Wamba. And um, in the video, you know, he, he says not an order, but uh, he encouraged brothers to do videos on why they left the black church, man. Okay. And, um, so this is, you know, um, I, I would guess I would say testimony on, you know, first and foremost, you know, give all praise to Yahweh Hashem Al Shai because Yahweh Hashem Al Shai is the one that led me out the black, uh, the black church, okay. But um, you know, through the Spirit, how the Lord had it happen was um, basically uh, you know, I was learning how um, well, first thing I would say, you know, as me growing up, um, I always believed in the Bible, you know, uh. <laughs> literally what the bible says if the bible said it i believed it you know you know i was raised up on the bible you know just in the wrong sense you know uh in Christ what to people will call today christianity okay which is not actually according to the scriptures man. but um always you know um trying to defend the bible people always i knew always trying to come up against the bible and i would always stand up and be like nah man you know that's not right you know what well, the bible says this bible says that and then people will come at me with a weird angle that uh, makes you seem like a hypocrite because you're under Christianity, man. Okay. You know, um, and stuff. And I always got stuck, you know, with defending the scriptures because I was under Christianity. is nothing but lies, uh, um, hypocrisy, especially hypocrisy, man. You know, being a hypocrite, man, you are, that's what these people in Christianity, that's the spirit that they come in, is the spirit of hypocrisy, man, okay, you know, and, um, I can never back up what, you know, what I said, but when he, how about Shai brought this truth, uh, uh, to me, you know, to me seeing brothers videos and stuff, you know, um, you know, I, I could back up what I was saying with the scriptures, man, all right, brothers were saying certain things, and they backed up the scripture, man, you know, you know, um, and it all was cohesive. But the first thing the Lord had me do was learn that these traditions of men are not in the scriptures, man. Okay. And that's the first scripture I want to get. <clears throat> all right. This is a uh, Colossians, the book of Colossians chapter two, verse eight. And it reads, beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Kind. All right. And th that's what nothing that Chris that's what Christianity basically is, man. All right. Nothing but, uh, uh, philosophy and vain deceit, uselessness, man. All right, the virgin birth, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, an angel impregnated, you know, um, Mary, um, there's hell, you know, all these things, you know, hell is a place you burn in in a pit forever. There's a bunch of confusions that went on within Christian Christianity that always messed me up as a as a child and as a very young man coming up trying to defend scriptures when people came against it, you know. You know, and then they'll come with an angle that will make Christianity look like a, you know, uh, which it is, but, you know, make me look like a hypocrite for believing in the Bible. But it was really just Christianity, man. All right. The words of the Bible are, are faithful and true. Okay. You know, it says, um, <clears throat> it says, beware lest any man spoil you through vain philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition. The men in kind, that's what this per these churches uh push tradition of men. Oh, well, it's a, it's a tradition for us to do Easter, or it's a tradition for us to do uh, do Christmas, you know. And it's for the Lord, you know, it's for the Lord, it's for the Lord. 
these are traditions of men. They have nothing to do with the scriptures. And that's the, one of the first things Yahweh Bashim al you know, made me realize, you know, at a young age that, you know, um, uh, Christianity is uh, filled with lies, man, you know, <laughs> and stuff. And it makes me laugh. Uh, it came to a point where I was going to denounce Christianity, you know, and, you know, I was looking for other things that, were, you know, that had to do with the Bible. And I kept on reading that, you know, the Israelites are the people of the scriptures. And then these people in this world called them the Jews, you know, and everything. And I was like, well, maybe, maybe those are the right people. Maybe I need to become Jewish. <laughs> Not knowing that I'm an Israelite already, man, you know, and that those people are copying my, you know, my, my um customs, man. You know, that the Heavenly Father gave me, man. Not knowing. And then, you know, years later, then the Lord finally showed me the truth that I am an Israelite, man. All right. You know, okay. <clears throat> it says, um, after tradition of men, after raiment of, of the world and not after Hamashiach kind, because their ways are after this world, man. You know, you know, that's what Christianity pushes, really, the vibration of this world, because everybody is a Christian in America, you know, if not, they're atheists, but they used to be a Christian. Which basically they have the same morals, you know. You know they allow homosexuality, bestiality, come as you are. When the Lord has standards, man, that you have to live up to, man, which is the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. Okay. So um, this one is how Hashem uh showed me, man. You know, you know, before coming in the truth, and then while in the truth, you know, first the first stages of coming into the truth. Okay. Um, I it on that one. Next, I want to get, and you know, just furthering that point that the Lord showed me things, and like I said, these people in these churches, uh, um, the main thing back, you know, back before I learned about the truth, I always wanted to defend the Bible, you know, like because I, I, I truly believe that this was the book of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, you know that the Lord is through this book. I believed that even before I came to the truth, you know, and I'd always try to defend the truth, but I couldn't because I was under a false doctrine. That had holes, and 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 it was full of hypocrisy. Okay, you know, and one of the main things that they push is these uh, holidays, man, and and these um, in and black church, man, you know. Plus, uh, you know, any brothers that know me, hey, my my um, I tell them, hey, my my grandmother was a pastor, which is, a, you know, it's not be teaching, man, or authority over men. Okay. You know, uh, scripture I want to quickly get is uh, Jeremiah 10 and 2. All right. <clears throat> this is, uh, yeah, Jeremiah 10 and 2. Thus save Yahweh by Shimei All right. So it's the Lord that's saying this, you know, because that's, that's another thing with these black churches. When you tell them the word, they think that, oh, you're coming with that, man. No, it's the words of the of this Bible, man, you know, it's the Lord that's saying, it's not me, you know, I'm just trying to follow what the Lord said, man, you know, in these black, in the black church, you know, when you bring that out to them, they condemn you for it, man, okay, it says, um, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, learn not the way of the heathen, okay, and the way that Christianity pushes is in the way of the heathen, Christmas, all the holidays, you know, um, um celebrating your birthday, Thanksgiving, you know, all these, the black church, it dodges in, man. You know, homosexuality. You know, in the video, the uh, the elder, um, uh, you know, uh, show, somebody exposing. Him. Most of these gospels are homosexuals, man. Kurt Franklin's, you Donnie McClurkins, you know, you know, all the all these dudes. James, um, I forget the dude's name, man. James, whatever, man. You know, he he was a homosexual. You know, uh, um, when all these things are against the scriptures, you know. Uh, uh, the black church allows things and doesn't hold as a standard to itself, unlike the scriptures. Okay, the scriptures hold a standard to themselves, man. You know, how about Shema Shai requires you to uh, uh, be better? Okay, in fact, let me see. If I can. Um, <clears throat> it says, Learn not the way of the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Verse 3. For the customs of the people are vain, kind. These customs of the heathens are vain, useless, man. They have no real purpose behind them, man. You know, 
You know, they have no true meaning behind them. You know, the mean, the actual meaning behind them is something demonic, man. You know, you know. So that's one of the things the Lord was showing me, man. This is the reasons why I left. You know, the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shai had me leave the black church, man. Okay, you know, these these are the things I found out out for. At the time, when I first came to truth, I was 17 uh, and stuff. And the Lord literally, you know, I, I describe it like this. For 17 years, there was a glass of lies that was in front of my face. And the Lord came with the baseball bat of truth. You know? That's the way I could pit it, man. You know, for 17 years, I was lied to. And the Lord came with the, hey, with the baseball bat of truth and broke it all. You know, broke that windshield of lies, man. You know, and Thwadi Al Bashim Al Shai for allowing me to understand this truth, man. All right. And, you know, same for you, brothers, man. You know, Thwadi Al Bashim Al Shai that y'all brothers is pushing and, and, you know, righteousness and sincerity to the elect, you know, that we came up out of these uh, uh, black church, man. The ways of death, man. All right. You know, the ways of hypocrisy, which Yahweh Bashim Al Shai hates. Okay. He says, um, <clears throat> for, uh, for the, Customs of the people are vain, for uh, and this is a, the Christmas scripture. This is one of the scriptures the Lord first showed me, man. All right, now it says, "For the customs of the people are vain. For one cut of a tree out of the forest, and the work of hands and work workmen with the axe for they deck it with silver and gold and fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not." Kind, man, you know, and that's Christmas, man, you know, deck with silver and gold, you know, decoration, deck, same, you know, you know, the, 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 uh, the silver and, and, uh, gold lining with the balls on the tree, that all goes back to, um, you know, Babylonian worship, worship of Nimrod, man, you know, that's the first thing that the Lord showed me, man, like, hey, these customs that, you know, you were celebrating, they're pegging, you know, you know, they're not, that's not according to my will, you know, and that's before I came to the truth and need, it heightened even more a true understanding where all these things came from, you know, after the Lord showed me the actual truth of this Bible, man, that I'm a Hebrew Israelite according to the scriptures, man, you know, <clears throat> um, let's see, like I said, um, back in the world, looking at the notes, some points just to, you know, further this, uh, the testimony of why, you know, the Spirit had me leave the black church. Oh, it says, um, <clears throat> this is a uh, first Thess Thessalonians chapter five, verse, uh, I believe verse 21. First thirty Thessalonians chapter five, verse 20, 21. <clears throat> and it reads, it says, prove all things, hold fast. Hold fast that which is good, kind. All right, so scriptures tell us to prove all things. And like I said before, um, before I came to the truth, I always try to back up, you know, the Bible. Like, I always try to defend the scriptures, man. You know, but the one thing I couldn't do to Christianity was prove all things, man. All right? It doesn't uh, uh, promote you to prove all things, man. All right? You know, to prove, you know, to, to research, to do all these things, man. But through the spirit by Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, on the apostles and elders, you know, every scripture, everything that they said, they brought a scripture out to back it up, then told us to go research it. And we did. <laughs> we did, and we found it to be true. Proving all things, man. You know? And that's the same thing that we constantly do. Uh, Yahweh Hashem Al Shai has, it on, has that spirit on the apostles and elders and the men on down, man. That was a great military. Okay? You know, we prove all things through the scriptures, through history. Secular history, man, you know, uh, scriptural history, you know, uh, 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 artifacts, all things. We prove all things, man, all right? First, through these scriptures, man. That's something I couldn't do in the black church, man, under Christianity, man, all right? You know, so the Yahweh Shemashah for allowing me to, to know this truth and to understand cause, and to, to question, <laughs> you know? Why can't I defend the book that I firmly believe in, man, you know, you know? And I found out because it was a false doctrine, man. You know, and now we can fully, with us knowing that we're Israelites and the right doctrine taught by our apostles, starting with our apostles and elders, a great millstone on down with the men on down. Hey, man, everything is cohesive and, and makes sense. You know, under Christianity, nothing made sense, man. You know, 
Uh, it was all uh, fairy tales, fairy tales, and uh, vain philosophy, man. Okay. Um, and the last scripture I want to end it off on is uh, this, because this is the thing that really uh, set it off for me, man. Because I, I believed in the scripture when I was um, in the world. I believe that this was the book of the Heavenly Father. Okay. You know, and you know that the only begotten Son is uh was was real. Okay, and, but you know, I could never prove anything. You know, uh, because I was under Christianity, man. Okay, but um, this scripture kind of sealed it all for me. You know, and stuff. Um, why? You know, reason why I left the black church. You know, so let me stop talking. And get to the scripture, and then end it off on this. This is um Isaiah chapter eight, verse twenty, to the law, and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, the words of the scriptures, because Christianity contradicts itself. Okay. That's one thing everybody says. How do you believe in the Bible? And it always contradicts itself. No. Christianity contradicts itself. The true understanding of the Bible does not. All right. Which is you, which is so-called Negro, Latino, Americans are the true. And they eat them so-called white man. And so on, forth, so on and so forth with the doctrine, man. All right. You know, that America is going to be destroyed. That America is Babylon the Great. All right. None of these things um, um, uh, contradict itself, man. Okay. You know, but Christianity constantly contradicts itself, man. You know, under being a Hebrew Israelite, we know that we got to practice the law, man. You know, even though we can't keep it perfect, but the law is not done away with. Okay. You know, with Christianity, they believe the law is done away with when the scriptures say it doesn't. So it contradicts itself, man. All right, so if they speak not according to this word, all right, it says to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, the scriptures, what the scriptures say, believing the testimony that is written of Yahweh Shai, okay, it says, it is because there is no light in them, no light, man, no life, all right, ultimately Yahweh Shai is not in them, because Yahweh Shai is that light, man, all right, but the, you know, I also like to give all praise to Yahweh Shai for allowing me to understand this truth and the question why can I defend defend the book that I firmly believe that is the word of God, man? All right. And come to find out, hey, this is the book of the Heavenly Father. And guess what? I'm an Israelite, man. You know, you know, and that I need to come back to my heritage, man. Okay. You know, and so forth and so forth with the elect and everything. Lord's will, I'll be a part of that number. Lord's will, you brothers also that's doing this truth and sincerity and, and, and the, to the best of their ability, also make it, man. All right. So, um, hey, brothers, I hope that was edifying, you know, just my testimony of, you know, um, why, you know, hey, the, how the spirit had me to leave the black church, man, you know, and why I left the black church to the spirit power, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, you know, because it's confusion up there, man. And like the elder Yashua Wumba said in his video, um, <clears throat> nothing but a, a cesspool of booty and wickedness, man. So, the black church. Get the hell up out of there because death and destruction is coming, man. All right, you want to be on the right side of the Heavenly Father, like I said, which his true name is Yahweh. All right, and the, and the true name of the only begotten Son, who the world and he calls Jesus Christ. His true name in the Hebrew, because he was a Hebrew Israelite, okay. All right, his true name is Yahweh Shai, okay. All right, so with that, I like to give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukakadash. Double honest to my apostles and others, a great millstone who woo well and taught me the truth. And shout out to all the brothers out there through the four corners of the earth, pushing the spirit and all righteousness.